Good morning, guys. Today is Friday, April 17th, and I have our new book. You ready? Let's get started right away, right? Tuck Tuck is lying in a pile. The nightlight is in the bathroom glows a comforting pink, and the air is still warm from the little girl's bath. Excuse my appearance, says Tuck Tuck, who can't get around on her own. Plastic, isn't it? I'm always like this after the bath. Damp. On the floor. Sorry, guys. A little technical difficulty right there. Let me see if I can back up a little. There. I want, oh, damp. On the floor. I'd like an iron and a fold, but this disarray is all that can be managed. Glad to see you, though, nonetheless. Plastic begins to cry. Tuck Tuck seems like everything a towel should be. So nice, so floppy, and just so, so very towel-y. That's a funny adjective, isn't it? Oh, plastic, soothes Tuck Tuck. There, there, come wipe yourself on my corner. I don't mind. What do you already know about Tuck Tuck? I agree, right? Good friend, good listener comforting, compassionate. Plastic has a good long cry and feels a little better. I'm a rotten plastic, she sniffs to Tuck Tuck. I've lost my fur. I don't know my habitat or my eating habits or whether I build a nest or run in a herd. I'm not even sure I like what plastics are anyway. A big tear rolls onto the bathroom tile and she begins mumbling about fake, artificial, and polymer or something or other. Oh, my dear, comforts Tuck Tuck. You're upset about nothing. <laughs> it's not nothing, it's plasticness. Listen, I have something to tell you. You do? It's important. Are you ready? Plastic thinks she is. You're not a plastic. I'm not? Plastic isn't sure if she's happy or un. Plastic is just your name, says Tuck Tuck. It's obvious to anyone who knows anything precisely what you are. It is? Of course. You're a rubber ball. Did you guys know that already? <laughs> I am? I've seen balls before you. I'll see balls after you. A ball is what you are, says Tuck Tuck. Tell me, do you bounce? Yes, cries Plastic. I do. And she bounces once very high for show. Do you roll? Yes! Plastic rolls around the bathroom until she crashes into the base of the toilet. Have you got front legs and back legs? Um, not exactly, says Plastic, who most certainly doesn't have any. And no fur whatsoever? No. That's normal, normal for a ball, you know. Here's the picture of them in the bathroom. You guys see Tuck Tuck in plastic? What about how I don't have very much nose? You mean how you don't have any nose? Um, yes, says plastic. That's normal too, explains Tuck Tuck. Plastic feels relieved. I've been around a long time, says Tuck Tuck, and I've never seen a ball with fur or legs or a nose. You're a ball, Plastic, says the towel, wrapping her terry cloth corner around her friend. Don't let anyone tell you different. I'm a ball, cries Plastic, a ball, a ball, a ball. Suddenly she feels bouncy again, really, really bouncy. She jumps in the tub and rolls around super fast. She bounces herself so high she hits the ceiling. A ball, enough now, I need a rest, says Tuck Tuck. All right, Plastic stops bouncing for a second and gives the towel a kiss. Then she goes rolling, bouncing, rolling, bouncing, bounce, bounce, bouncing, down the hall to the bedroom. Chapter three, the terrifying hiss bigness of the washing machine. Lumpy has peanut butter on him. Here's how it happened. He went on a picnic. The little girl and her father walked to a park where there was a big pond and lots of grass and sunshine. 
The girl carried Lumpy all the way there, holding it onto his tail. He didn't hurt. And then they all three sat on a patchwork blanket and ate peanut butter and jam sandwiches, round green apples, and dried pineapple. They threw rocks into the pond. That sounds pretty fun. Then the sky turned dark and it started to rain. The girl and her father ran home as fast as they could with Lumpy in the picnic basket. The lid of the peanut butter jar was not on tight. Lumpy jounced and joggled and got goo all across his face and front legs. It was very greasy. When they arrived home, the girl wiped him with a paper napkin, but he is still a very peanut butter buffalo. The father says Lumpy will have to be washed. I don't see what the problem is, says Lumpy to Stingray later that evening. The little girl's out for Chinese food with her parents, and the two of them are building block towers on the shaggy rug. You're dirty, says Stingray, placing a block on top of her pile. It's not dirt, it's food. Food is dirt when it's mashed in your fur. No, it's not, it's food. Why would it be dirt in your fur, but nice and tasty anywhere else? It would be dirt if it was on the rug, says Stingray, or on the sofa. Food isn't dirty or you wouldn't eat it. I have some nice clean food on me. I don't see that it's a problem that it needs washing. If people think it's dirty, then it is, Stingray claims. Plastic rolls by on her way to visit the rocking horse in the corner. People bigger than you, she chimes in. If people bigger than you think it's dirty, that's when it is. Clean is better than dirty, explains Stingray. Like neat is better than messy. And smart is better than not smart. And chocolate is better than lentils. And blue is better than orange. I like orange, mutters Lumpy. Some people do, allows Stingray, lining up her blocks in a neat row. But blue is better. What do we know? What color is Stingray? Blue. Lumpy does not want to be washed, especially after what Tuck Tuck told him earlier about the pumpity washing machine in the basement. How you go round and round in soapy water and how it makes you dizzy and sick to your stomach. Lumpy asks Stingray if she knows anything about washing machines. <laughs> Are you guys in for this one? Here we go. Not from personal experience, Stingray admits. She's dry clean only and has never gotten wet. But she has a lot to say about basements. They're dark and full of things, she said. There's spiders in the corner with 58 legs. There are cardboard boxes and they're full of sharks and more dust than anything you ever saw in your life. I don't know why you would go to a basement to get clean, muses Stingray, because basements are dirty places. That night, Lumpy tells Plastic and Stingray he'll be going away for a while. He keeps his planned hiding place top secret, even from his friends. He doesn't want to take any chances of being discovered. Then he creeps into the closet, squeezing himself back behind a shoebox on the floor. He figures that if the little girl doesn't see him for a few weeks, she'll forget all about washing. When he emerges from the closet, he'll still be greasy, but she'll think that's just the way he is, not anything that needs to change. I am a greasy buffalo, he says to himself, and it sounds pretty tough. For three days, he waits in the closet with only dust and socks for company. That's good writing, isn't it? He hopes his peanutty smell doesn't give him away. He waits and waits and waits. He does not come out, even when the little girls at school are asleep, because what if she came home early or woke up from a nightmare? He can't risk it. He is lonely all by himself in the closet. One day, the little girl is searching for a particular pair of socks. She opens the door and begins rummaging right near where Lumpy is hiding. She's moving shoes and boxes and other bits of clutter. Peanut butter, she says to her mother. That smells like peanut butter. Lumpy dives headfirst into a soccer shoe. It's muddy from the girl's practice the day before. He's too big for it and has to scrunch his head all the way down into the toe in order to hide. Are you guys picturing this in your head? Even then, his bottom is sticking out pretty far. <laughs> and he's so worried about being found that his tail wags back and forth without him doing it on purpose. He holds his breath and he tries to stop his tail. It won't stop. He tries to squeeze his bottom in so it will be sticking out. It won't squeeze. He tries not to smell like peanut butter but he stinks. 
the little girl roots around in the closet for eight days. Well, it's really eight minutes, but it feels like eight days to Lumpy. Finally, finally, finally. You have to wait till Monday. Have a great weekend, guys.